Bible Bakers, Easter is just around the corner and growing up in Ireland, we always followed our Easter Sunday dinner with a lovely chocolate dessert. Now, a very popular method for cooking a pudding or a cake in Ireland is steaming. So that being said, I am going to show you how you can steam a really delicious, moist chocolate cake, perfect for the whole family this Easter. In a nice big bowl, we're going to add in our room temperature butter and our brown sugar. Now with an electric hand mixer, or you can do this by hand, just cream these two ingredients together. So this is only a small amount of butter, so this mix isn't gonna get really light and fluffy like the way it normally does. But this is looking good. That brown sugar is gonna give this pudding a really lovely caramelly flavor. Now into this, we're going to add in an egg, and then just go ahead and mix that in. And when it's fully combined, add in your next egg. So you might have noticed that this is called chocolate pudding, but it's not actually a pudding in the American sense, it's pudding as in a cake sense. That's what we call cakes in Ireland is a pudding. So that is why. So this is a chocolate cake, also known as a pudding. Okay, this is looking good. Now we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. So into this mix, I am going to add in some melted bittersweet chocolate. Now you want to use a lovely dark chocolate for this because it just gives your pudding extra depth. So I would say something around 72% cocoa solids, something bittersweet. Once that's all blended in there, add in your milk and your vanilla extract. And then you just wanna give that a big old mix up. You'll notice that when you're using an electric mixer, this gets lovely and light and fluffy, just like that. So now into this, we're going to add in our dry ingredients. Here I have a sieve, and I'm gonna sieve in my flour, my cocoa powder, baking powder, and some salt. So you don't always see me sift ingredients very often, and I'll tell you when you do see me do it, when I'm using cocoa powder or powdered sugar, because they tend to have moisture in them, and they can be clumpy, and you don't want those clumps in your desserts. So give it a quick little sieve. And then with my spatula, I'm just gonna fold in the dry ingredients. No need to go back and beat them in. So let me tell you about the benefits of steaming a cake rather than putting this into the oven. Steam introduces moisture, so it makes your cake really moist and soft. The dry oven heat does tend to dry it out a little bit with steam and a steamer that doesn't happen. So you end up with this lovely, soft, moist cake. It is such a lovely method for cooking puddings or any kinds of desserts. I have actually a lot of steamed puddings on my website, um, biggerbolderbaking.com, so definitely go check those out. But yeah, it's just really lovely way to make a cake. Oh my gosh, this batter looks, oh my God, it tastes delicious. Oh man, it's gonna be a good Easter. Okay, let's get this into our pudding basin. So here I have a pudding basin. I put a link on my website of where you can buy one of these. It's around a liter in size. You can use any glass bowl or whatever you have that is safe to steam also. You don't exactly need a pudding bowl. Now this has been buttered. I'm gonna add in my batter. This is gonna be so good. So what I'm gonna do now is cover it in a little bit of parchment and then close it in there with some foil. So now I've got a post on my website all about how to steam cakes, how to set up your steamer, how to cover them and keep them nice and safe from the moisture. So definitely check that out. I'm gonna pop this into my steamer. So you want to steam your pudding for roughly around an hour and a half to two hours. Check on it at an hour and a half and you'll notice it will have risen up. If it's firm to the touch, then it is ready to go. Also, when you're steaming, do not forget to top up the water every maybe 30 minutes or so because it will evaporate off while cooking. I'm gonna leave this here and come back when it's done. So my pudding steam for around an hour and 45 minutes or so. I'm gonna take off the foil and the parchment and look at that. If you push down with your finger, you can feel that it's firm underneath. That means that it is done. Absolutely perfect. So it's ready to go, so why not serve it up? I'm gonna put my serving dish over and I'm going to flip over the dish and pop. <laughs> it's important you make the pop noise and then out it comes, look at that. Now, of course, I love to serve this with a chocolate ganache on top. You can do a chocolate sauce, whatever you like. I'm gonna pour that generously on top and let it cascade down. And then, while it's still nice and hot, because I love hot chocolate cake, I'm gonna cut a nice big slice for Kevin and I. Look at that, it's still steaming, absolutely gorgeous. You can tell that it's really moist, even just by looking at it. With this cake, to cut the sweetness of it, I like to serve it with just a plain vanilla ice cream. So I better call in my taste testers. Okay, the two of us are hungry. Who gets the first bite? Here we go, Daddy. Oh. Oh yeah. 
Oh my gosh. It's so rich. That is delicious. Georgie. Oh, look Ooh, at that. Yummy. Look Family at that. approved. <laughs> exactly. That's a damn good chocolate cake, Jim. It sure is. Perfect for your Easter <laughs> celebration. Definitely put this on your baking list and we'll see you back here again really soon. Have a yeah. lovely Easter. Happy Easter.